Hello. So, obviously, it is, I guess it's middle of the day right now. I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, today I have been focusing on the successes of the day. Not that I don't usually, but today I'm paying particular attention to it. And I'm not entirely sure why, so I'm just going with the flow with that. And today, I will say that I actually ate breakfast at the house. I was like, at the apartment. I was like, hey, this is great. Um, and it was about six hours after I woke up. I was like, yeah, I could fix lunch. But, <laughs> like, no, just be, have some breakfast. And my waffles were great. Had some... A little bit of taters, fruits, you know how it goes. And awesome. That was that was very enjoyable because typically I do not eat breakfast. That is just like one of the things that's never on my radar. So yay, Rachel. Um, the next accomplishment was I took a nap. <laughs> I actually respected and honored myself enough that, okay, I'm tired. I need to take a nap. And I had a very interesting dream uh, that I'm still kind of deciphering. And I'm just like, wow, that, that was pretty cool. So I'm going to share it. And it had to do, had this pile of raisins that I just rinsed off. Because, well, I've been doing raisin water. And drinking a lot of that and a lot of lemon ginger tea. So anyway, I was like, oh, this, this is great. And then a woman I know, she's an acquaintance of mine. She works at a bank. And she and I were like friends and I was like, oh, that's cool. And we're doing all this sort of stuff. And then we go into the bank and when we get in there, she's like, just remember, whatever happens, just be you. And I said, okay. She goes, though, you did sign the contract. And I was like, what? And this other woman comes up to me and she goes, okay, well, you just, we need your address. Do you trust us? And I'm like, anybody who asks that probably shouldn't be trusted. And I woke up and I was like, well. That was a good hour and a half nap. Yay. <laughs> All right. And my next accomplishment, I promised uh, Natasha that I would go and get pictures of the, the acrylic paints that I did save. I put them in storage and sent her pictures of them. And I even talked with her yesterday about some of her digital artwork that she's doing. I'm like, she's she's got to put it out there. I mean, holy crap. And guys, I'm telling you, when she comes, when she starts doing it, I'm letting you know right now, I'm going to be putting in links and showing you guys, hey, check it out. She's got some really nice stuff. So I looked at the Art Weaver program and I was looking at the, what was it? pen something, pen gear stuff. Anyway, uh, it's things that have been on the market for a while, but this is, you know, doing your digital artwork. And I was like, that's really cool. I like more tactile things, you know, getting dirty, having paint everywhere. And trust me, <laughs> I have done that excessively. <laughs> One time I even was thinking I was being smart and put trash bags and lined my tub and took spray paint. Yeah, it took me about two months to get spray paint out of the tub. And little dots everywhere. <laughs> but I got them off. <laughs> the magic erase is a great thing. <laughs> so it's been a really good, calm, relaxing day. And just going with the flow. I got my nap. I'm ready to go. And I hope everyone, I know everyone else is having their perfect Saturday and being mindful of your accomplishments, giving yourself kudos and loving yourself unconditionally. Bye for now. I don't want to add one more thing. I am so tempted right now. Not just the digital artwork, but... Um, really getting back into doing the the acrylic paints and I also used to make these little fairy houses now mind you I did this in 2018 when I quote unquote had time after surgery I was like what the fuck am I gonna do I didn't want to be bored and just watch tv because I cannot sit still I just can't I can't do the brain numbing thing it makes me insane 
So, <laughs> um, I, doing those kind of things, I mean, I would take, I took, a, um, a, what was it, a Corona bottle, and I made a waterfall out of it. I was like, hey, this is pretty cool. It might still be in storage, it might not, but I'm, I'm teeter-tottering on something right now for this. And I miss doing my arts, man. I so miss it. I can take, I, I, they used to make fun of me. Well, yeah, they would, they sometimes still do make fun of me at work because, you know, you have pots and well, pans and stuff like that. And for the PHU units and things, and sometimes you have to throw them away. I'm just like, oh, we can make something with this. We could have put a pump here and make a waterfall. Everybody just starts laughing. And I'm just like, what? They're like, your imagination goes crazy. I'm like, yeah, it does. Oh, we could do this. <laughs> it never stops. <laughs> Follow your inspiration. Much love. Bye for now.